here's a quick update. This is the week of my birthday. I had a birthday a few days ago. So there it is. This is what midlife looks like. House prep. We've uh, got a little bit done on the house, but not too much. This week, obviously, with my birthday, kind of kind of took it easy, really. I didn't do a whole lot of stuff. I didn't really celebrate that much. Um, I just kind of, I'm really kind of in money-saving mode, so I think everything I'm doing, I just don't want to spend a lot of money I'm trying to save or anywhere I can. So uh, I really didn't do much. I, um, I think we went out to lunch and uh, we went to two lunches. Uh, Michelle and I just went out to a nice little lunch, took advantage of the happy hour, which was kind of nice. And um, also I went to lunch with uh, a really good friend of mine, uh, his family, uh, which was super cool because we haven't been able to connect in so long. Uh, so one of the big things we've been trying to do, I'm trying to figure out like, Know, how to save money, how to prepare for this, you know, location independent lifestyle, I mean, truly location independent, uh, despite the fact that I've been kind of working that way for six years plus now, um, we're, you know, in preparation to actually take that next step to become truly location independent and uh, sell the house and sell all of the stuff that's tying us to one place, which has been Nashville. Uh, for the last uh, 25 years for me, uh, 26 years, like on and off, like except for like when I was in the service, I was in the Air Force for four years, so I was stationed out of Tennessee uh, during that time, and then I think I spent one year, uh, or just under a year, uh, back in Washington State, which is where I'm from originally, um, in the 26 years. So uh, yeah, so working on that, I've the, one of the big things I've been trying to do is reduce expenses, um, which we kind of have to do anyways because we got to get down to uh, as minimal as possible in all the aspects, uh, but be comfortable, obviously. Uh, minimal, but be comfortable. And part of that is by just getting rid of everything. So preparation of selling the house, you got to get rid of a lot of stuff because you accumulate an enormous amount of things in that time. We bought a house 12 years ago. I've been there. Um, so I've kind of accumulated stuff where usually in the past I've always move so much that every six months to every year I'm moving so whatever I've accumulated I would get rid of you know as you're as you always do when you move right thank you two fans so I've been selling a lot of my YouTube collection because I realize a lot of stuff that I just don't ever I don't need it anymore I'm buried I'm not single I can't like put the posters up on my wall anymore uh, so I just been getting rid of a lot of the things I've collected over the years it's interesting because there's a lot of stuff, lots and lots of stuff. Because I mean, there's a few things you could probably sell at a yard sale, but realistically speaking, there's not a lot of stuff people aren't gonna pay you anything for yard sale items. So I've been doing that. Uh, I've been mowing the yard, doing as much yard work and maintenance as I can myself. Uh, so we also had a, a good meeting with um, a lady who helped us uh, sell our house. We did the first steps there in selling the house seeing what we need to what we need to do, what we need to fix. Um, because there's been a lot of things that I've been trying to figure out, like whether it's worth putting the time and the effort and the money into in order to fix the house to make it sell. Because it's a old house. I mean it's from nineteen fifty four. So there's lots of little things that are, you know, that could be uh, fixed or or made better. We had a good meeting and that would help to kind of figure out maybe really focus on the things that we need to do the most important things to really address um, because our house is old and it is already going to be kind of considered a fixer-upper for somebody you know they're going to come in it's a starter home they're going to buy it they're going to do stuff to it anyways so uh, there's no point in us trying to do all that extra work